the stack's now the dollar sign, so you've you've uh, cleared away all the uh, you've you've cleared the you've popped the remaining terminal symbols uh, with no more variables in your stack, uh, and so eventually uh, you know all those terminal symbols disappear, and you're just left with the dollar sign. So that that, that means success. Okay, so that branch uh, it accepts. It's uh, what, what's it done? It's uh, it has derived a string that matched the string in the input string. It, it matched the input string. Okay. Well, uh, so you have using the PDA, you have derived that string, the the input string. Okay. Therefore, the PDA is capable of generating that same string. So the, the grammar can do it and therefore the PDA can do it. Okay, so therefore the grammar and the PDA are equivalent for that string. And it can do it uh, for any string, yeah, because it's using, the PDA is using the same, uh, of that language, because the PDA is using the same set of substitution rules as the grammar. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, now the formal proof, so that's all uh, proofs so here's, here's our uh, six tuple, as usual, for, for our PDA. Now remember it's a non-deterministic PDA, so you know, the usual six, six symbols. But uh, we're going to make a modification for the delta. We, we want a, a useful, very useful shorthand. That, uh, so we'll, we'll change the notation a little bit for the delta, the transition function. Uh, to speed things up makes it so it'll, it'll allow us to this transposition will allow us to write an entire string you know, not just one symbol but a, high, a whole string of symbols onto the stack okay? and now we can simulate that uh, by adding extra uh, extra states now imagine I'll skip things a bit because I'm sort of trying to explain things imagine uh, the the string of symbols you want to put on the stack is is this, okay? And these uh, symbols could be a mix of terminal, I guess, a mix of terminals and uh, variables, right? And you want to put the whole thing on the stack. You just push, 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 and it pushes all of them. What well, you can simulate that by adding a whole bunch of new states, okay? And and uh, new rules, new transition rules, uh, transition rules, right? Not substitution rules, transition rules, uh, because we're talking about PDA, right? And it's done in the following way: uh, your uh, so now the transition rule, uh, it's it's a triple, remember? Uh, the current state, uh, the current symbol being read in the input string, and the current symbol at the top of the stack. And that will map into a, a pair, an ordered pair, uh, where the first member of the ordered pair is the next state, and the second member of the ordered pair is the symbol from your stack alphabet to be pushed pushed onto the stack. Okay. Now you you add more transition rules. Uh, now remember this delivers a set. Right? It's a, it's a non-deterministic machine. So it delivers a set of uh, these ordered pairs. So let that be one of the members of the set that this gen this creates. Uh, Alright, and then add a whole bunch of uh, other transition rules of this form. So, uh, and, and, you'll, and you'll see why it works. Uh, so add this new state Q1, and a new state Q2, and so on, until you get up to a new state QL minus 1. And what's the L here? Well, that's, uh, the L is uh, the, the number. You've got, you've got L uh, symbols that you you have a string, a string of L symbols that you want to uh, push, in, in a sense, in one operation. 
uh, onto the stack. And by using adding these extra states and these extra transition rules, in effect, uh, you're doing that in, in sort of one operation uh, because you're using all you're using all these uh, epsilons. Uh, have, have a study and see if you can see why it works. Um, now you've got you've got that already. Now you're adding these extra states, Q1, Q2, etc. Now, okay, so this generates that, and then what will this do? Well, um, so you put this. This will c contain that. So that will be your next state, right? And that'll get pushed onto the stack. So the next state that'll uh, so this one will match to here, so the next state will be Q2, and, and then the second last, uh, well here, the second last symbol will get pushed onto the stack. Remember it's a stack, so everything gets reversed in, in time order. Okay? And, and you just go through all this until eventually uh, the last symbol to get pushed will be here, but it will be at the top of the stack, and all these other ones are, are lower in the stack. So effectively with this trick, You've uh, you've pushed the whole string, okay? Now um, let's see. Yeah. So uh, the shorthand of the delta function is you you want to go from state Q to state R. Like here, here was your last uh, new state R. So you started uh, you started at Q. Uh, you go to R, right? And at the same time, you've pushed uh, this whole this whole string onto the stack via via these intermediate extra states q1 q2 dot 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 q l minus one. Right? So effectively, you now the essence of it is um, we have a kind of shorthand uh, transition function delta that speeds things up that takes us from state q to state r and at the same time pushes a whole string from uh, u1, u2, dot, 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 ul. And we, you can probably see why we want to do that, because we're using, we're getting the PDA to behave like a, uh, to, to implement, to simulate a uh, substitution rule, right? And typically the right-hand side of a substitution rule will have, you know, a string of symbols, right? And you, we want to pop that. I mean, of course, we'll check the, yeah, we'll, we'll check to see if the, we have terminals in the front, but but you know, we can put the whole thing on the we can put the whole thing on the stack. Okay. Uh, well, we're sort of in the middle of it, so we'll continue. So we'll get get down to there, get down to there, and do the rest uh, next session, next board.